Well, good day, guys. Welcome to the channel. Um, the end of the last video, there was a little bit of drama, like seems to be happening. But anyway, hopefully today we can sort that out, work out what's going on with that, and get it all back together, and um, just keep harvesting. That's all we've got to do. So basically all day yesterday was spent with the hydraulic pump from header number one here um, up getting looked at. Um, it wasn't making pressure, it was only making about 100 psi which is, is nowhere near enough. So that, um, yeah, that got sent up and pulled it all apart trying to find what might have happened and eventually did find um, that very tiny bit of metal um, that was stuck in the um, load sensing valve for the hydraulic pump. So basically the pump was just in complete D-stroke mode, so it wasn't, wasn't pumping. Um, so that would be a piece of metal probably from when the hydro stat and all that failed. Now we did go right through it, um, blow it, blew out all the hoses and cleaned it all out with diesel and different things and back, back blew it through the cooler. Um, so back through it all through there, cleaned it as best we could, cleaned out the tank, everything like that. But obviously there's still a chance little bits like that will be in the system. Um, so that is the cause of that. Um, we're putting a couple of new hoses on and we've put a couple of magnets in the tank itself so any bits of metal should get drawn and stuck to that. So that's the rough plan of what's happened. Um, the pump is just currently going on now. Um, so Brad's here putting that on and family friend Mitchell is up there. If you don't, if you don't recognize him, he's the one that came off the motorbike in the motorbike videos that went up a little while ago. So what is it? Two days and the moon boot comes off, Mitch, is it? Yep, two days. So what's that? Is that uh, two months? 14 weeks. 14 weeks. Yeah. So he's... um. Chopping a he, bit. Yeah. <laughs> and all the raspars, you, you fixed that yesterday, didn't you, Brad? With the, yeah. There's yep. a couple others that were just a bit a bit loose or not... Yeah, just not up to speak. Not, not up to I talk, loose, so... Loose, but yeah, not... So we're just uh, not specky spec. Yeah, we're just trying to work out why that would be the case. But anyway, they're all been re-talked up, and um, it'd probably be something we might incorporate into our pre pre-season checks. Is all the torque specs of that those? Because that's not a pleasant thing to go through. Um, but very surprisingly, not a lot of damage for the size of the thing that went through here. Not a lot of damage. Um, you can see just there. Um, a bit of the beta there has been dinged up pretty good, but other than that, and a few dings on the back of the header, and that has um, been very, very fortunate not to do more damage. So anyway, we'll get it going soon and go from there. All right, it's all back in. We've got hydraulics. We're just testing the pressures and making sure everything's working. See if the auger goes out. Beautiful. We have hydraulics again. So I'll check the levels and uh, then I think we'll be heading over to take this one to where the contracting is. Um, the other thing I just did forget to mention was, um, yeah, so the other header, header number two, after I welded in those um, those gaps in the um, fingers, it, um, yeah, it was able to finish the linseed. So all the linseed here is done, which means this property's done. Well, both headers are in the same paddock. And, um... If you want help, I'm looking, Matt. Yeah, if you've got a moment, that'll be good, thanks. Yeah, and yeah, it's a good sight. There's the other header going. This one's going. Well, we haven't got harvesting yet, but it's all running smooth. And yeah, hopefully we can get some tons off. What a magnificent feeling this is. Where um, Phil's going over there, just trying to patch off a little 
I'll just get a little bit tidied up over there so we've got a section to work out at night. Um, I'm doing the same over this side, just getting a feel of how it is um, in the daytime so we can yeah get a bit done tonight hopefully but doing about 13 and a half kilometers an hour could probably go a bit quicker um, it does start to throw a little bit little bit out the back um, yeah probably probably this is a good enough speed for the minute um, it's doing a bit over two ton to the hectare so yeah it's not a, a bit fair bit of this was damaged by the flood so it's not uh, breaking any yield records but um, certainly worth harvesting still so um yeah we can get off a bit quicker when we're we're doing this speed just a brief update before we probably knock off um, there is a little bit of a rain shower coming um, might be 10 15 minutes away but we'll just keep going until that hits us um, it is about a bit after 11 30 and we are, yeah, things are going really well actually. It's been been actually a bit of fun to, uh, both headers going together and both are working and everything's going pretty well. So Phil's done, he got into this paddock, um, there's about 400 hectares in this field, I should say, and, and um, yeah, Phil got in here about three o'clock and he's done over 100 hectares. Um, I got here um, a bit after that and I've done about nearly 80 hectares, so it's um yeah very good effort so we're um very pleased with that so we'll uh yeah we'll just see what this rain does i don't think it'll be enough to really stop us tomorrow it might if it damps things up a bit it might just take a little bit to get going in the morning but um yeah we'll have to just wait and see what happens there well good morning little bit of rain last night we had to knock off um it was probably about time to knock off anyway i think we pulled up here at about 12 30 something like that and um yeah we just it was a really good night we got a, quite a bit done and we just had like 15 hectares left to finish one section but we couldn't do that with the rain so uh tantalizingly close but uh total we nearly got we nearly got 200 hectares off well the sun's come out with a bit of a vengeance um, and it's you just feel the moisture coming up um, from the little bit of rain so that's good um, making it quite humid to work in but a little bit of a breeze as well which is all helping to um, yeah to dry it down so we've just got uh, Johnny is finishing um, blowing down that header that's been greased oils have been checked um, and then that's gonna be just about ready to go I, I replaced a knife guard on that um, and then yeah this one's been given a quick grease and then yeah it'll just need blowing down so hopefully with this sun shining and wind blowing it won't be too long until we um, we give it a try um, the compressor here the Atlas Copco compressor it's been working like a little champ a couple little things we just need to tidy up on it um, so if you haven't seen the video um, I think it was three or four videos ago uh, might have been a bit more than that actually but um, when we actually got this and put it together it had been run over um, by a cotton picker I believe well we're experiencing the joys of two headers that are working as they should got Brad over there he's uh, he's in header number two I'm in header number one and we're going about the same now that one that one was going a bit quicker actually even though it's technically a smaller header it was going quicker um, for some reason and it might be just down to my skill not quite being up there to set this up properly but um, I was just if I go to push too hard it starts throwing it out the back so um, I think I'm slowly getting on top of it though but yes you can see here there's gullies there's sticks there's all sorts so we're on our oh, definitely on our toes at this stage I don't think I'm going to try and uh, do any drone footage while on the header but uh, maybe if someone takes over um, but yeah we all's going well it's a lovely feeling
is done. The uh, that might uh, there'll always be more contracting after we've finished the development block, I'm sure, but potentially. But um, that's it for this contracting anyway. So that's uh, about 400 odd hectares that we've got done, and we only got in here, um, yeah, about three o'clock yesterday. So um, yeah, it's. Unfortunately, we got through it really quickly because it wasn't yielding very well. But um, anyway, it's good to get it off, and I think we're gonna give it a really give the headers a really good blowdown. Um, it's important for um, just weed control. There's always different weeds in different areas, so you want to try and blow off um, the machines as best you can, clean them out. That way, you're not transporting weeds. To different properties um, and yeah because there's always particularly on a, a an area that's near a creek like this one um, there's a lot of, of seeds that get washed in from other properties that can have all sorts of um, resistance to chemicals so yeah they can be some really nasty weed seeds here um, yeah I've got it all done before dark which is nice I think the plan will be we'll head off to the development block tomorrow um, and yeah there might be a few little niggly things we need to fix here and there but um, all in all the machines have done really well um, pleased with how it's all gone um, we thought we we're in for a lot more heartache just as things were always going wrong in the last couple of videos but um, yeah it's nice when everything's working as it should We'll probably leave it there for the video so just tune in for the next one hopefully we'll be getting into harvest at the development block um, but just remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video uh, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you then